everybody! Thanks for coming back to my channel and checking out my videos. Um, this week we're going to start by doing some screens for the windows because it's starting to get pretty warm and I want to be able to put the windows down without the animals escaping. So, yeah. Um, that'll be nice and then hopefully, hopefully the solar will be happening in the next couple weeks. Depends on when I can get everything in. There's still some things that I have to order that I was not expecting to have to order until I really got into how everything was going to be installed. But you know, so it goes, so it goes. So yeah, I'm gonna go take some measurements outside of uh, one of the windows in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll show you me putting one together in real time. And then uh, we'll do probably a little time lapse of me making some more screens and then show you what it looks like. Hopefully I can get it all done today. Uh, I think once I get in the groove, it'll probably go pretty quick. Um, <laughs> I forgot what I was gonna say for a second because Audrey is distracting me. But uh, I spent all day yesterday just designing and uploading my designs for my exclusive merch on Patreon. So if that's something that you're interested in, helping me out with that, I would super appreciate it. The link's gonna be in the bio, or the description. The link's gonna be in the description and I'll put some clips in here too of some of the designs and stuff that I have on the exclusive merch that will be out now. Um, but yeah, please check that out. Help me out if you can. I'd super appreciate it. Times are tough right now, but that's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. There's a reason why I'm not a musician. Anyway, I'm gonna get started on these screens. So I'll catch up with you here in a minute when I get some measurements. So here's some, here's some real life, real life for you. Um, I got everything out ready to do the, uh, window screens. And then I was like, there was just one little thing like, oh, I don't have a handsaw. And then I, you know, I was like, oh, well I could use an angle grinder or maybe my Dremel tool or something. And that would probably totally work. And then I brushed out the girls uh, because they're shedding really bad right now. And that took a minute. And then, uh, yeah, now I don't have the uh, energy I did at the beginning to do the window screens. I just like all of my energy just sort of went, eh. you know, just like, it. Eh. But, uh, yeah, so there's something that I've been wanting to check out for a while. What I realized is that, um, somehow in my life, I have yet to see a documentary on narwhals. And this has been, this came up like in my mind, it came up, not in like conversation, although it should, I think. But, uh, I realized I had never seen a documentary on narwhals. I don't really know a whole lot about them, like ton of stuff on sharks, like all about that. Um, you know, and you hear a lot about dolphins and just, just about all these different, but I'm like a narwhal, man, the unicorn of the sea, you know? So anyway, since I obviously, whatever's going on with me right now, uh, I'm just going to turn on, I, I just found a narwhal documentary and, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to watch a little bit of that. And then hopefully I'll, I don't know what's going on. Hopefully I'll get my energy back up from watching the Narwhal um, documentary. I don't know, dude. I just need to take a few minutes. I need to figure out what's going on with me. I don't know. And I'm going to get back to it. I'm determined to get on these window screens today. Like I said, sometimes you just need a break, I guess. I don't know. So, I want to watch some narwhal stuff. Then I'll spit some facts at you and get to the window screens. Okay, so an important thing to know <laughs> is that when you are measuring the windows for the screen, right? Um, you're going to get the width and the height and everything. But whenever, before you cut it, you need to allow for... Uh, this little corner piece here that's going to actually connect the two. So just subtract the width of this from uh, on both sides from each piece. I just wanted to tell you that before we did it. So 
Um, I've got all my pieces here cut and everything. I used a Dremel tool to cut mine, but like a handsaw will work just fine. That Dremel tool has a lot of vibration, so you might want to use like a handsaw or something. Whatever you have that works best for you. But yeah, let's get started on this. Hopefully you can see everything fine. The lighting is weird right now in here, but here's my screen. And you want to have it a little bit bigger than what you need. And that's fine. You can cut off the, uh, the excess later. So I put this on. Now, um, because of this lip up here, it actually causes it to push out a little bit more in this area. Like I could get it in there, but it won't stay because of the pressure from the top. So that just means I will have to get those little clips a little sooner than anticipated, which I mean, isn't a big deal. They probably have it at like Home Depot or those, so. I guess I'm going to go by there probably sometime tomorrow or the following day and see if they have some of those clips. If not, I'll order them off Amazon. But uh, yeah, I might go ahead and make a few more screens, but unfortunately I won't be able to put them in. There's no point. That's probably going to fall out as soon as the wind starts blowing. So I'll just wait to put them in until I get those little clips. So to be continued. Good morning. Um, so I'm at Home Depot. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to get some storm clips to attach the window screens to the bus. Uh, I'm also going to get a couple of punches. Figured I'd go ahead and just do everything now. Um, I'm going to get some painter's tape. And it seems like there's something else I might be forgetting. But hopefully they have these like storm clips or whatever. So if not, I guess I'm going to Lowe's. But let's try this out. Okay, so school bus windows. You are going to have to measure everyone individually because even the ones that look like they're the same size are actually not. So to get a nice firm fit, you will have to measure each one individually. So I am uh, labeling, lab uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm labeling each one of these. So like I'm doing like P1, P2 for passenger side one, two, three, four, whatever, and going back so I don't get them confused and then I can just go out and uh, put the screws in for the uh, the anchors or whatever, the little, to like hold up the storm clips, to like hold, hold the storm clips in. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, I went ahead and pre-cut all the other ones. So like P2, P3, P4. I'm going to do all the passenger side first and then I will go on to the driver's side. But yeah. Let's put some screens in. Yeah, it's really windy, so I have my light stand taped to this little pin here, and the phone might do this. So I apologize if it's hard to watch. Oh my god. 
It's so funny. Okay, we're gonna do this side now. Oh my god, I lost my bit. This one's actually locked in, so we should be good. The other one was a bit too short. So I'm, yes, that screen's done and installed. But I'm not gonna be able, it's, the wind has been picking up like huge gusts of wind. So this is my situation. I only have painter's tape right now and um, that's not gonna last very long on that uh, stand. So uh, I'm not gonna be able to film me actually installing these, but I will show you as soon as I get them put up. Okay, so as you can see, uh, not all of them are done. Uh, this is the emergency exit here, so it's made a little different. It's a little different, you know? Um, then the very back window, also on the driver's side, I'm walking back there. It is also shaped quite differently. See, so that's gonna take a little extra uh, thinking to figure out how I'm gonna do that one. Um, as far as the back two over here on this side, right now I'm currently running an extension cord to run the fridge through one of those windows. And the other one is where I drain my spaghetti and stuff. So those are going to wait until I don't need the electric cord anymore and I get the water running, which hopefully won't be too much crazier longer. We'll see. But yeah. So, um, that's all I can do for now. If I figure out the other windows, then I will catch up with you and let you know. Okay, okay, okay. So, obviously, the emergency exit window did not work with the screen. And put it on the one that I would uh, drain my spaghetti out of. And I'm just going to walk my lazy butt up to the front and pour it outside. Um, you know? And that's fine. But there's a screen on there now, so that's nice. So I can open that window in the back. That way there's a window on both sides in the back that I can open with screens. My windows are filthy, so I will have to clean that off. I'll show you what uh, both sides look like right now. Hey there so I'm gonna go get some groceries right now the screens are done that's all I'm doing this week uh, I might mess with that last one later not worried about it right now but uh, whenever I get back from getting groceries here in a little bit I'm going to give you some information about narwhals just little tidbits and I'll put the name of the talk that I watched in case anybody's interested in more also if you like that sort of thing um, you know, I'm also interested in outer space, anything to do with the ocean, metaphysics, quantum physics. You can list it below and maybe I'll watch something else for next week's video and then uh, put a little clip at the end for that. So let me know if that's something that you're into. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch up with you as soon as I get back from getting groceries. Hey, I'm back from the grocery store. Hooray, I have food. Um, so narwhals, right? Um, so it was more like a talk, um, instead of like a typical documentary, but still pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to show you some pictures here in case you don't know what a narwhal looks like for some reason, but yeah, here's some photos. Narwhals are typically around 15 feet or so long and their tusks are actually about eight foot, so almost half of the body, or a little bit more than half of the body. Uh, also, those tusks aren't like a horn or anything. They're actually the left tooth of the narwhal, and it grows out of their lip. Yeah. That surprised me. Um, I just assumed it was you know, out of their head or something. Yeah, it's their tooth, dude. It's their tooth. Cool. Apparently more like a, like, sexual adornment, if you will, or something. Um, typically, males have it. 
Now, occasionally females do have it, but it's a lot more rare. So you might ask yourself, what do like unicorns and narwhals have in common, right? Well, it turns out around like the 14 and 1500s, um, unicorns were like a huge deal, right? And so there were rewards offered and tons of money offered to bring a unicorn horn back to like a lot of these wealthy people, right? Like at that time, if you came in with a unicorn horn, that was pretty much the, like the, you would get the amount of money to buy a freaking castle. So the reason they were searching for these unicorn horns is because they supposedly had medicinal properties and could heal all kinds of things. So what ended up happening is some people ended up going up and exploring like the Arctic regions and everything. And then they came across these narwhals. So of course, what they ended up doing was going and actually cutting off these narwhal tusks. Um, and bringing them back as unicorn horns. Now, eventually, they did find out. Eventually, they found out that this this is a narwhal. It's not really a unicorn, but it took a hot minute. And there's actually like thrones and stuff that were made of the unicorn horns. The yeah. So um, those are still you can find them still. Obviously, you're not going to buy them, right? But you can still find them, and there's photos of them and stuff if you want to Google. If I can find a photo, I will put it here. Narwhal in Old Norse actually means corpse whale. And this was because the coloration and everything that they have, whenever they're floating on surface to breathe air, because they do need to breathe air occasionally, they look like a dead corpse. But there's some little tidbits of information about narwhals. And, um, yeah, let me know if uh, there's any other little topics you'd like me to add at the end of any other videos, because I love learning stuff. And like I said, anything to do with outer space, the ocean, quantum physics, or metaphysics, I am totally 100% down for. And, you know, it's just a little thing that we can add at the end if, if you guys are into it, so let me know. Well, that's going to be it for this week's video. I appreciate you guys watching. You know, if you don't mind, give me a like if you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to be working on probably actually hooking up the outlets and everything, I think is what I'm going to be doing this next week. So keep an eye out for that video, you know, hit that bell so you don't miss any new uploads, but I will be uploading every Sunday and I will see you then. Thanks so much for watching.